He pointed out an object in the sky. A half a mile by a half a mile, the greatest mechanical object ever made. Having 1,500 little wheels or bombing planes. Knowing the truth about real world technological powers that are more superior than anything within the grasp of conventional government and military intelligence, that should be of utmost importance to black people. Wouldn't you want to know if there is a proven power far greater than that of those who've oppressed the indigenous people around the globe? Well, this is exactly what the so-called UFO phenomena involves, which is why the topic remains above top secret by world governments and militaries. Oh, they have nothing to do with made up aliens, but everything to do with the original people of our planet. These are just a few points that we prove in our research publication titled UFOs and the Nation of Islam. A book that I must add has changed the game of UFO research, analysis, and disclosure. Not to be confused with the numerous hoaxes or any governmental projects, the wheel-shaped planes that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad presented to us from his teacher, Master Fadr Muhammad, do exist just as he first introduced to the modern world. These planes or wheels, as he also calls them, are directly affiliated and connected to the Nation of Islam, the messianic roles of Elijah Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan. Think with me now. How the heck can religious leaders preach the scriptures, all of which depict God operating from a heavenly vessel, then neglect the real world proof of it? I'm not representing no fantasy God. I'm not representing no spook. God is hiding somewhere in the sky. I represent the most high God who sits in that wheel that Ezekiel saw. A wheel in the middle of a wheel. And I visited that wheel. Look. Did you know that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was shown and given the first-hand details of these phenomenal crafts by the very man responsible for them? And did you know that in 1942, the FBI questioned and arrested Elijah Muhammad a few months after the military encountered this huge wheel? They locked him up for five years so they could initiate what has now become a global UFO cover-up to divert you from the fact that Elijah Muhammad met the Supreme Being and to gear public focus towards some made-up aliens and monsters instead of the real-world power behind those crafts. Because they know these planes are the clear fulfillment of the messianic prophecies concerning God in human form, his heavenly war vessel, and his chosen people. He brought me to that wheel like Allah brought Muhammad in a night vision to the inner sanctum of himself. Why do you think Farrakhan's critics don't challenge him on his connection to these wheels? As his students and representatives, we are more than willing to engage in public discourse with the best minds and scholars of the world regarding this heavily misunderstood reality. The problem is that most scholars and journalists and leaders are reluctant to engage us on this topic because we bring proof that deconstructs their theories and false narratives. And while we thank the few who have engaged us, we hope that scholars and leaders will stop avoiding an intelligent discourse with us concerning this important topic. All your scriptures foretell of God's coming with his heavenly accompaniment, 
Yet scholars still ignore the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's real world proof. The U.S. Navy is preparing new guidelines for pilots on how to report sightings of UFOs. The world needs to know the truth. And quite frankly, the Nation of Islam has provided provable answers to this global phenomenon. That's the big secret, that God, the supreme being, has come for his chosen people, and he brought proof of his presence. Knowing the truth about the most advanced wisdom and power in the observable world is of utmost importance. Knowing the truth about the representative of that power is equally important, especially since that power has given us representatives with the solution for our independence. It would be foolish to overlook this reality and the man who represents this reality Damn it, I'm not no spook believer. I'm not no man that believe in fantasy. I know what I experience. And I'm not a liar. I put my life on what I say. Oh, I think you'd be wise to heed the call of the Nation of Islam.